When you see a messy situation like this one in your project, like the loose strands and the stitch sticking out somewhere a few rows down into the fabric, the first thing to do is to secure the stitch. So simply pinch it with your fingers and then take a locking stitch marker, a paper clip, anything, and insert it into the stitch. This will keep it from going any further down. When we pick up drop stitches in garter stitch, we're going to alternate knits and purls. And the trick here is to figure out whether the first stitch should be a knit or a purl. And to help, un to help us understand that, uh, we should look at the area that is near the drop stitch, specifically the first two ridges and the space between them. So this is kind of a valley and it is built of two stitches. If your drop stitch is at the bottom of this valley, if it is closer to the bottom ridge, then your first picked up stitch should be a knit. If your drop stitch is at the top, it is closer to the top uh, ridge, then your first picked up stitch should be a purl. So my stitch is closer to the bottom of the valley, to the bottom ridge. That means I should uh, make a knit first. And here's how we do it. We insert the tip of the left needle from back to front under the strand that is the closest to the uh, drop stitch. And if you don't see clearly your strands, it helps to to stretch the fabric like this, then the strands are nicely aligned and you can tell that the closest strand would be this one. So I take my left needle, I go back to front under the strand and I go back to front into the stitch. Now I can remove the locking stitch marker. I don't need it anymore. The stitch is safe on the needle. Uh, to make a knit stitch, insert the tip of the right needle from front to back into the stitch then pick the strand that's already sitting on the left needle, pull it through the stitch and slip all this thing off the left needle. If this is the last stitch that you need to fix, if you don't have any more strands, then simply slip the stitch on the left needle, pick, uh, pick up your working yarn and continue working on your project. But this is not the last stitch for me. I still have a few strands to fix. So in this case, I do the same thing as I did before I fixed the stitch. So I go with, my, uh, with the tip of the left needle, I go under the strand that is the closest to the drop stitch, back to front, and I go back to front into the stitch itself like this. The next stitch to pick up will be a purl because I already made a knit, so we're going to alternate, right? And to make a purl, insert the tip of the right needle from uh, front to back under the strand, not into the stitch, but under the strand that's sitting on the left needle, and bring this strand to the front of the stitch, like this. You can do it with your fingers if you like, but you know, it's more handy to use the needle. Uh, now insert the tip of the right needle again from front to back into the stitch this time and pass it over the strand just like this and off the needle so we've just made a purl stitch if it is the last stitch that you have to fix if you don't have any more strands then simply turn the stitch slip it to the right needle like this and then to the left needle and then continue working on your project if it is not the last stitch, if you still have more stitches to fix, then slip it to the right needle without twisting the stitch like this. And then go with your left needle under the next strand, back to front, it's going to be this one, and then into the stitch again. So this is going to be my next knit. I go into the stitch, pass the strand through the stitch, and then I make the last stitch and go this way into the stitch bring the strand to the front like I said feel free to use your fingers for that then go into the stitch pass it over and untwist the stitch make it ready uh, to work on the project so now I can pick up the yarn and continue to work on the project this area looks a bit loose for now but with blocking it will be fixed and no one, even yourself, will be able to tell that you had a drop stitch in this area. The full tutorial about this technique is at tendrosday.com slash fix dash stitch. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.